Okay, I'm going to make this lecture really quick um, because instead of listening to a longer lecture from me, I want you to go to the bottom of this video and I want you to do, there's a number of links to other videos and one reading. Now the basic thing to remember, be sure that you've done worksheet 4.2, but this is about um, new or rediscovered tuning systems that use um, pure intervals, you know, just intervals. And there's three limit and five limit, which I discussed in, in uh, worksheet 4.2, but then we have composers who've explored uh, tuning systems that use other limits. In other words, that generate scales from uh, higher ratios besides the three to two or the perfect fifth and the five to four or the major third. So please examine these. Now, specifically, the first sort of and most influential of these, Harry Parch, wrote a book called Genesis of the Music. He's a fascinating guy. He, he lived as a hobo for a while. He built all of his own instruments. He had lots of ideas, but he really believed that equal temperament was not only a bad tuning system for music, but he believed that this bad tuning system resulted in, you know, maybe even all of the ills of the 20th century wars and the depression, etc. He felt that it was uh, caused a sort of spiritual downfall. Then we have, um, so I've got some things I'd like you to look at there. Um, Kyle Gann is a composer and theorist. I would like you to look at the uh, page that I provide, read the whole thing and listen to the audio examples. Again, the parch, if you can um, watch the video about the Genesis scale. He used a, a, uh, a gamut of 43 notes to the octave. Well, two different gamuts and together they formed 43 notes to the octave. Uh, there's another piece of music, The Rose, which is very beautiful. Please listen to that whole thing. It's only a couple minutes long. Then uh, watch some excerpts of the video of him in his studio in the 1950s demonstrating his instruments. Then we have some videos uh, that about Lamont Young, the most influential Mormon composer in history, uh, father of minimalism, but also very interested in, in uh, just intonation. His most famous piece, probably of all, the well-tuned piano, which he would play on a retuned piano that used seven limit just intonation. There's an ex explanation of the theory behind that tuning. And then there's a complete recording. I'd like you to listen to excerpts of that, kind of skip around and get an idea of the sound. It was a quasi improvised piece using a sequence of chords. And then there's a live excerpt of Lamont Young himself playing. Please watch the whole thing. And then find, not finally, there are two more things. One is the uh, James Tenney, another highly influential Mormon composer, you know, not active, but um, called Harmonium One. And this is a, again, a structured improvised piece where performers have some choices of pitches to play, but all those pitches are in just intonation. And finally, there's a string quartet by Ben Johnston, uh, who is somewhat of a student or assistant of Harry Parch. Uh, another Mormon connection. His daughter joined the church, so that's kind of interesting. But anyway, this is a really cool piece because it's, uh, I don't even know what the limit is, but it uses uh, much higher ratio just in intervals, you know. So you can get an idea of a kind of a far out just intonation in this string quartet number five by Ben Johnston. Anyway, enjoy. Please let me know if you have any questions.